Hi, and welcome to this video, and welcome back to my shed. Uh, while I've got the mower apart, which is another video I'm working on, uh, there's a lot of uh, sun damage on the uh, covers of the mower, so I thought, what about a fun project? Uh, let's paint them. So let's do that. Right, so this uh, cover's developed this sort of crust on it. Uh, I guess it's UV damage. And so what I've done is I've saved you the boredom of watching me sand stuff. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, try and put a, a candy paint job on this. Just a simple uh, candy paint job with a, with a model look to it. Uh, so the steps I'm going to do are I will have to paint uh, a primer on it first. Uh, the primer I have has a uh, plastic adhesion promoter built into it. So we're going to do that first. That, that'll make it grey. Uh, actually, the one I've got is clear, I think. Uh, so we're going to do that first. Then I'm going to paint it black. And when that's dry, I'm going to put a layer of silver over and then use a plastic bag uh, with a modelling uh, technique where you... You have your silver paint on and you get a plastic bag or a cloth or something like that and you um, dab the surface with it like that and uh, that creates this inconsistency. It's not like a smooth silver look, it's sort of got bits of black in it and it's all different sort of visually its uh, texture. And then you put a candy paint job over that and once you're happy with the candy colour then we'll do a, a 2K uh, clear coat. And the reason I'll choose to do a 2K clear coat is because this is going to be out in the sun. And uh, being in the sun, uh, it needs some sort of protection. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not really going to talk very much over that. I'm just going to film it as I do it. And uh, you can watch. All right, so these are the paints that I'm going to be using today for this job. So I'm going to, I've got the Autoborn uh, sealer, transparent sealer. Uh, going to use the uh, black, opaque black for the base. And I'm going to have aluminium base as my uh, silver. I've got some uh, transparent base here because I've, I've run out of the uh, Autoborn uh, Clear, UVLS Clear. And I'm doing a candy uh, tequila yellow uh, as my uh, candy colour. And uh, I've got some 411, uh, 411 uh, reducer there that I'll be using for that. So this is the uh, the range of colours and uh, paints that I'll be using and I'll just be using a standard LS uh, 2K clear uh, for the very uh, top finish. And for the actual painting part I'm going to be using my stand minigun and for the clear I'll be using my Developers GTI Pro Lite. Opaque black, and as I said before, a bit of the water and reduce at 10%. Shouldn't need too much of this. This uh, tends to go a fair way. Let's be 
bit hot today. Anyway, let's stir this up. Uh, they also say when you stir it up, you have to let it emulsify, so you've got to leave it for 15 minutes. It's also water based paint, uh, so it performs, or it, uh, it bonds to the surface with a mechanical bond, not with a chemical bond and it relies on air movement to dry, not temperature. So today is about 25 degrees. Um, and uh, it doesn't help it if it's sitting in here, it'll take a long time to dry. But if you put it out in the... Uh, it's quite quite breezy outside today, so I've got the uh, engine cover sitting on a table outside, getting plenty of breeze around it, and it's pretty well dry now anyway. I'm just going to leave it for like 10 15 minutes. That this requires uh, to just sit here and emulsify with the reducer. I think that's uh, pretty well mixed up. So I'm going to let that sit here for 15 minutes and then we'll put it in the gun and start putting the black coat on. So here we are. I've mixed the uh, silver up. I added a little bit of extra reducer, uh, slightly more than 10% because I want it uh, quite loose and uh, pliable because I'm going to use the plastic bag to uh, off the surface of the engine cover. So let's get some uh, basic silver on first. So we don't need to be uh, too cautious here, we just need to slap the silver uh, paint on. We're only going to be doing the one coat so we might as well put it all on and get it on pretty quick so that we can then move to step two. Right, so we've completed that bit and at this point I realised the plastic bag that I had sitting on the bench ready to go uh, has fallen over the back of the bench. So I don't want to retrieve that because it might have dirt in it. So I'll go and get another plastic bag and you can see I'm just laying it over the top for a few seconds and then I pull it off. And then I grab the bag and just go back around and tap it on areas where it hasn't had the uh, mottling uh, created yet. So spots where it's basically solid silver or solid black. And you just go around with the bag and tap it and tap it and tap it until you're happy with the actual modeling effect that you've achieved. Right, so let's have a closer look at what we've done there. We've got the modeling pattern across the entire engine cover and it all seems to be uh, pretty uniform and uh, so we'll let that dry now. Okay, so that finish is pretty simple. It's all done. Now we just need to wait for it uh, to dry. I'm going to put that outside to dry and when it's done we're up to the candy stage ready. It's pretty quick today. Right, so let's make up our candy paint. Oh, it's time to mix up the uh, tequila yellow sunrise uh, candy paint. This is an O2 candy so it's a pure dye. Uh, so rather than mix it up and get it everywhere, uh, I'm mixing up directly in the cup. So I'm just adding a bit of the reducer. I'm going to mix it up and then leave the uh, gun with the paint in it for 15 minutes. And uh, then I'll get on with the uh, candy application. Okay, so the candy is a transparent paint and it allows you to build it up in layers to develop the colour that you want. So as you can see it starts out here it's quite a light yellow and as I apply more and more coats it turns a, a deeper darker orange and so I was going for a little bit of a dark colour 
and had to apply maybe three or four uh, very fine coats uh, to achieve the colour that I wanted. Now I think the colour looks quite stunning but of course you're not going to really uh, see and appreciate the true colour of uh, the engine cover until it has the uh, clear on top of it which will be the next stage. Right. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. Uh, we're all finished. Had the uh, 2K coat applied, which makes it pretty, uh, pretty durable, uh, 2K. And that's why I've done it. Uh, you can see the, the depth in the colours have really come out. So we'll have a look at these um, shots from outside in the sunlight. And you can see that uh, yeah, the depth and richness of colour out there in the sunshine is really quite staggering. Okay, so uh, I didn't show any uh, footage of me uh, uh, actually uh, painting the, the 2K. Uh, the reason for that is uh, you would have noticed when I did the primer and I did the black, the silver, the candy, I was wearing a respirator, okay, in a well ventilated shed with a fan, and that's okay, that's water based paint, so it's okay, but 2K you have to take a lot more seriously. I have a spray booth I have set up with, um, with uh, extraction. I wear a full uh, spray suit. I wear a full face respirator, gloves, the works. Okay, you can't be too careful with that stuff. So that's why I did that. And I'm not gonna put a camera in that environment either. So that's why I didn't do that. Okay, so with this, I was thinking about painting the, uh, the side panel here and at the top of the clamshell, that bit there. Uh, but when I cleaned it up, I noticed a lot of uh, scratches in the top, which I think have come from the uh, fruit trees that I have to mow under. And uh, when there's a lot of fruit in them uh, this time of year, or on them this time of year, uh, they tend to, you know, scratch on the top of the mower. So 2K would stand up to that for quite a while, but I don't really want to put it through that so I figure the top part can stay just plastic and that's fine. Uh, so let's have a quick look at what the uh, mower looks like uh, now it's back together again. Wow that's something. Anyway uh, I'd just like to say hi to all the new subscribers as well. Uh, thanks for joining in all the fun and uh, helping my channel grow. Any comments you want to make, please make them, share the video, whatever. Uh, just want more people to get something out of uh, what I'm providing. Uh, so I think that's about it for now. Uh, the spare parts should be in soon. We'll get the mower together and these two videos are probably going to come out fairly close to each other. But I want you guys to all look after each other. Take care and be kind. To one another and we will see you on the next episode of tips and tricks